Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing a showcase on trunk control. It's a really cool mod. It's by Lenny and is on the lspdfire.com site. I'll be sure to link it down below. I did a showcase on this about several months ago. The mod is great, but the problem was back then you couldn't open up the trunk from the outside. Now he's got a hotkey. You can just open up the trunk from the outside and the animations look really, really nice. So I'm gonna show you how to install it really quick and I'm gonna demo it in today's video. Let's get started. Now to install the mod is simple. Uh, go ahead and take the folder that is inside the RAR file. You can pull it to desktop if you like, or you can extract to. And we're gonna open up the Grand Theft Auto Fire folder that comes with this download. You're gonna see a plugins folder and you're gonna see a Rage Native UI. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you an updated link for a Rage Native UI just in case this becomes outdated in the near future. So this plugins folder here will get merged into this one. My advice when you, anytime you drag a folder into your main game directory, don't pull it into folders, okay? Pull it right here and pull it down here. That way it gets merged properly because Windows is gonna put it where it wants to anyway. So that just went into the uh, plugins folder. We're gonna take a look at that in just a moment. And then the Rage Native UI, I already have this uh, updated, but if you want to, you can drag this right into your main game directory. But like I said, just be careful with the date modified. Make sure that it's a proper Rage Native UI that is up to date. All right, let's take a look where Trunk Control landed. It's inside your plugins folder. So if you open that, I've got a lot of mods installed, I apologize. You're gonna see a folder called Trunk Control. And you're also gonna see right down here at the very bottom is Trunk Control DLL and a PDB file right there. You'll also see your LSPD first response in the same area. If it's not there, you didn't install it right. Go back and rewatch the video, okay? So it has the folder called trunk control. If you open that, you're gonna see a config file right here. So if you open this, you'll see the uh, keys to uh, get to the trunk control. It's the T key by default. Yeah, it makes sense, right? T for trunk. If you feel like you wanna change the key, feel free to do that. Here's a menu key. Feel free to change the menu key if you like. If you play with the controller, he's already giving you the button layouts right here. All right, one more small thing I wanna tell you, and we're gonna get to the game real fast. Let's open up our Rage menu. I'm gonna fire up a Rage hook and hold down my shift key. We're gonna get to the Rage menu right here. Now, if you go to plugins, I've got a lot of things installed, but we have LSPD first response uh, checked off right here. To have trunk control loaded with Rage hook, then you would come down here and then uh, select trunk control, and then you'd save and launch. Now, personally, I like to load it myself in the game. So I like to leave it unchecked and then save and launch. And then let's go ahead and get into the game and I'll show you how to load it manually if you feel like it. Now, here we are inside the game. Now, if you had Rage Hook loaded for you, then it's already loaded. But chances are, if you're like me and you like to load it yourself, you're going to press F4 key, get to the uh, Rage menu, and you're going to type in load plugin, start typing out trunk, and then press tab, press enter. Now, if it crashes right away, I'm glad it did this, okay? Because uh, I think what it needs to do is create a log file first, because this happened to me the very first time that I loaded this. So right now, this is normal. So don't freak out if you, if you see something where it looked like it crashed. Press F4 key again, and then type in load plugin again, and then type in trunk control. Uh, I'm not sure if Lenny needs to fix that or if it's something with the log file. So type in load plugin trunk control again, press enter, and it should load up uh, just fine. And you'll see there to the left, at the left bottom of the screen, uh, this is version 1.3. So anyway, that's how you load it. Okay, let's get to the mod showcase real fast. Let me show you the menu key. It's a real simple one, but uh, pretty effective. If you press your F5 key, you can just grab your fire extinguisher on the fly, just like this, without having to go to the back of the trunk with stop the ped. So if you press your F5 key, you grab the fire extinguisher, and you can run and put out fires, whatever. And then once you get back into the vehicle, you can press your F5 key again, store your, your fire extinguisher. But the cool part about this mod is the hotkey function now that you can actually open up uh, your trunk from the outside. So if you go over here and press the T key, and then it'll open up the trunk and it'll slide out things if you have that installed, depending on the vehicle that you have installed. Not all vehicles do this, by the way. I chose this one because it's made by Ripple. It's got a lot of goodies in the back. So once you're uh, done RPing, or if you just wanna see what is in the back of the trunk, Sometimes that is useful. I uh, press your T key again. There's a little bit of collision issues there, but not too bad. Uh, he had to do that, you know, in order to get the mod to work correctly. But the collision issues really are not that big of a deal. Now, I do want to point out something that will occur to you, and you're going to wonder why it's not working. If you press your F4 key, we're going to spawn in a vehicle real fast. And then if you go over to the vehicle, and if you press the T key, notice to the top left, this says failure. I move closer to the trunk. Well, I'm pretty much on the trunk. 
So it's going to keep doing that because if you look at the mini map, this vehicle right here, even though it's inside the game, I can interact with it. I can get into it. I can do all kinds of things with the vehicle, but Ellis Pretty Fire does not recognize this vehicle as being mine yet. The easiest way to tell is look at your mini map. You'll see the white dot. You don't see the white dot next to me, but you see it over here. That is my vehicle right there that the game is registering. But if you get into the vehicle, and this works similar to the K9 mod with ultimate backup, same way, you have to get into the vehicle first just for the game to recognize that this is your vehicle. Once you get out, you'll notice the white dot shifts over to in front of me. And this now is my vehicle. If we press the T key, and then uh, we can go ahead and open up the trunk and things will slide out. And uh, like I said, this uh, Ripple pack is uh, beyond amazing. It's a Valor pack. I chose this one because it's got a lot of really cool stuff in the back, like Clorox wipes, gloves, really cool stuff, right? So then uh, what you do is press your T key again. It'll kind of slide it back in. There you go. And this particular mod with the trunk control looks fantastic with this car pack. I'm telling you. But anyways, guys, uh, that is the RP elements of trunk control. It does have some uh, good use out of it as well. You can see what's in the back of your trunk, uh, just in case you want to use that particular vehicle. It just kind of depends. Sometimes I'm out doing patrols. I have no idea what's in my trunk until I use uh, stop the ped to do a narcotics field test or do a weapon serial check or to get a bulletproof vest. So that way you can do something really simple. You can open it up and find out what's in there. Hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Take care guys and stay safe.